Welcome back to What's New. Yesterday I tweeted out the Indians' moves. You remember them, shipping off Frankie Lindor and Carlos Carrasco. It got nearly 20,000 engagements, and I can tell you nearly every one of them were negative. And many were calling on the Dolan family to finally sell the team. Their financial troubles have left the team in the worst shape in more than a decade, and many are wondering, is a sale or a move possible? Brandon Simmons tells us why some think it is possible and how it could be stopped. It's news many of us expected one day. Oh, it's not necessarily a shock, but it doesn't always make you feel good either. But that doesn't make it any easier. Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco traded away. Their salaries too steep for this roster. When it comes down time to paying guys some big dollars, it just seems like there's almost no chance that we're going to be able to do it. But Indians fan Jeremy Worden and many others on social media wonder whether this is the beginning of something much worse. At the moment, there are 23 MLB players that make more money than the entire Indians roster combined. Stadium attendance is amongst the worst in the league, and a new team name is on the way. Oh, and there's only a couple years left on their progressive field lease. Okay, between that and the stadium lease coming up in 2023, um, those all seem to be pointing towards one direction, which maybe would be selling the team. Despite all the negatives, the team itself is worth nearly four times the $323 million the Dolans paid for it back in 2000. Looking forward to a new life, a new era in Baltimore. Cleveland sports fans remember the heartbreak when Art Modell moved the Browns to Baltimore. Fortunately, former Cleveland Mayor Dennis Kucinich helped pass a law decades ago that could keep the Indians from doing the same. We were at the mercy of a professional sports team just picking up and going. Since the Indians play in a stadium supported by tax dollars, city leaders have a say in what happens. They have to give the city the ability to purchase a team, either you know directly or through a group of investors from the city. Problem is, the law has never been tested in court, and some say it's flawed. But since this entire scenario is hypothetical, let's hope we never have to test it out. Now, as you know, Jay, the Dolans are connected to Cleveland and have said in the past they want to keep the team in the family. Also, last month, when Paul Dolan announced the team's name change, he said memories often get associated with the name Indians, but that Cleveland is actually the most important part of the team name. So hopefully that's an indication of their commitment to Cleveland. And let's just hold on tight for another rebuild, Jay. They're staying here. I'm confident. Yeah, I have very much um, looked at the, the Indians front office over the last decade is the best in baseball. They, they've done more with less, but there are a couple of things that are very concerning. Number one, there will not be a lack of cities that are interested if Cleveland does come on the market. Nashville has a group currently working on bringing a Major League Baseball team to Tennessee, Austin, Texas, Charlotte, North sure. Carolina, Las Vegas. All of these cities are interested in teams. And remember, with this new wave of young tech billionaires, there likely would be no lack of interested buyers. However, I've talked to a lot of folks that cover Major League Baseball for a living, and here's where their concern is for baseball's future in Cleveland. They say that any potential buyer would be much more interested in taking the Indians out of Cleveland for one simple fact. Right. Few teams, Brandon, have won more games than the Indians going back to 2016, yet they are consistently close to the bottom in attendance every year very tough to maintain a competitive team when the yeah, fans aren't coming. That's one thing a lot of people were concerned about. If there are no fans in the stadiums, I mean, you just simply cannot have a team. We talked about that earlier in our meeting. We said no fans, no team. It's pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, and it definitely affected Cleveland more than most franchises. Brandon, thanks. Something we'll be keeping a very close eye on. Betsy?